planning meals, and other tips and tricks. Embarking upon any lifestyle change is going to take some organization. If you aren't fully prepared for it, it is bound to fail. What most diet plans don't talk about are the mental and emotional challenges that come with losing weight and making the changes that need to be made both mentally and physically before we are able to lose weight and keep it off. You have to be able to pinpoint the true source of your unhappiness before you will ever be able to address it. For example, if you are a compulsive overeater, why is that? Are you trying to fill an emotional void? If so, what left it there and how can you address it? Are you simply struggling with self-discipline? If so, why do you think that may be? And what can you do to make yourself more reliable? Or is your issue more to do with the fact that you simply don't know a lot about cooking and find yourself falling back on the easiest possible options? Do you lack time and feel that cooking takes more than it is worth? If so, look into easy meal preparation guides and tips that will help you with making meals in the home in a way that you are comfortable with and that will sustain you. Paleo diet books are a great place to begin if you are a meat eater. The paleo diet tries to stay as close to a natural diet as possible and nourishes your body in a way that keeps out processed foods and the abundance of sugars present in them that make weight loss difficult. Juicing can be great, especially if you have a hard time eating fruits and vegetables in their natural forms. One great way to get yourself interested in juices is to add apples. Apples are good for you and have a natural but not overwhelming sweetness. As long as you are adding some of the natural fibers of the fruits and vegetables back into your juice, then adding an apple or two won't hurt a thing. In fact, it is a great way to get both nutrients and a delicious sweet flavor into the juice you are drinking, whether it is full of vegetables you may not like or not. If you don't mind drinking water and don't feel that juicing would be an essential way to get a variety of drinks into your diet, then you should ignore this next tip. Most people I know struggle with drinking the right amount of water daily and opt for more flavorful options. Spicing things up a little by adding variety in your water and flavoring it with fruits and vegetables is one good way to get that variety. Another trick you might want to employ is to make sure that you have drank at least half your necessary daily intake of water before indulging in other drinks that you find moderately healthy and more sugary or flavorful. Once you have had the proper amount of water in a day, you can reward yourself with something else that may be a little sweeter. Although it is recommended to avoid all sugary and processed drinks in general in order to have the greatest effects, it is more important that you are living your life in a way that is bearable and manageable for you, and you are making conscious choices in what you consume. Whether a diet succeeds or fails is often on your own shoulders, at least the kind that attempts to change a lifestyle rather than looking for a quick fix to something that is not healthy to fix quickly. The real intention of the foolproof diet is to train yourself to have the willpower to make healthy choices that will change the way you view your dietary choices. If you feel that your choices are limited because you are not very creative in the kitchen with healthy foods, don't worry. You should see this as an opportunity to continue to learn and view each new experience in the kitchen as a chance to improve. Even if it starts out rocky, there are things that can make it easier. For example, Creating a meal plan is a great way to help you to get into the swing of things. There are many meal planners online that can help you to get the hang of getting an idea of what you are going to eat throughout the week. Stick with the foods outlined in this training. Lean meats and proteins, fruits and vegetables. Eat starches in moderation, once or twice a week rather than daily as a staple. You will probably find it difficult at first, but they are full of sugars and make you even hungrier so you can serve more food that ultimately breaks down into fat in your body. Drink at least 64 ounces of water daily and avoid sugar and processed foods like the plague. The paleo diet in general is a good guideline to follow. Avoiding the unhealthy foods out there will really help you to stay balanced and provide you with a foolproof way to diet and create a lifestyle change that works best for you. One that is sure to last.